Hey, what's going on out there? I'm Sean Devine. Hope you all are doing well. In this tutorial, we're going to be focused on nailing the essential balance of your mix. So there's a lot of focus on getting loudness and stressing about what's on the stereo bus and secret plugins that are going to give you a great mix. Uh, but many are overlooking that we are mixing and this balancing process is the essence of what our final mix will be and ultimately the loudness, the clarity, the space, it's all created here in this balancing process. So we need to get this right first. So let's go ahead and dive in. All right, so we've got our session open here and I have all of our levels zeroed out. And a lot of times it's easy to just listen to the rough or the reference mix and get a feel for, you know, how much space you have to work with, how much uh, space the different elements are occupying. And for instance, if you have an element like a orchestral string that has, you know, tons of low end information in it, then we can just go ahead and, you know, filter out some of that and create some space, do some very light EQ, nothing serious at that stage but just to make this essential balancing process a bit easier, go ahead and activate pre-fader metering, which I have a, uh, a command here in Logic Setup, Command P. And when I turn this on, even though everything is zeroed out on our mixer, we're still gonna be able to see the levels coming in uh, before the plugins, before the fader, uh, just as they're coming into the mixer. We want to have some room to kind of move the faders around and we don't want any excessive clipping. So if you do have a channel that's clipping, just go up and change the region gain or the clip gain, adjust it to where you've got some headroom to work with. Second thing is I mix into both a bus compressor and a limiter. Now this bus compressor is doing very, very little. So I'm just gonna activate that. It's just gonna be kissing the needle a little bit, giving us some subtle glue. When I first started getting into studios, I saw a lot of the engineers doing this and I just like kind of pushing into that and uh, knowing I've got a bit of a safety net. And then the other thing is, is I will turn on a limiter and I'll just set the limiter to minus one ceiling, true peak, because we wanna be able to hear, you know, how the limiter is gonna react to our balance. At some point, there's gonna be limiting introduced in the master. It's all good, we can bring things back down, but we wanna go ahead and just hear what that would do uh, once that's introduced. So I'm gonna be utilizing the SSL UF8. Of course, you can just use your mouse, but this is just a lot faster way of working uh, for me. So I'm gonna start with the drums because if you start going in here and you're trying to mix all these tracks at once, you're gonna get overwhelmed. You know, this is not a tremendously large session, but if you had, you know, 100, 200 tracks and you're trying to bring everything up kind of in at once without grouping things, it's gonna be very overwhelming. No specific levels, every session is different. So I'm just gonna go by feel. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll just loop this real quick.
It's human nature we live All right, so that feels pretty good on the instrumental balance. Again, no specific levels in terms of instruction manual of LUFS for each element. You just got to go by feel and you know where there's space, and also thinking that we're going to be adding vocals. So I don't want to bring up you know our instrumentation to a point where I'm not going to be able to fit in our vocals. As far as vocals, I like to start with the chorus just to make sure that we get that right. So let's go there. I'm going to go ahead and scroll down. You know, as far as the backing layers, especially with rap, you know, I don't want them to overpower the lead. I just want them to sort of be there. You know, different artists like their, you know, punches and ad libs to be louder than others. But uh, again, we don't want to distract the listener too much as far as these these backing layers. Now, the ad libs, you know, we can do cool things with panning and stuff, but we just kind of want to tuck these backing layers in. So you don't like it because I tried too hard. Funny because you never made it this far. What's the music, but I love this. Ten years in the sleep and I made a ruckus. Just wake up, I'm upside your head. I've been about to pee for the time we got. Music, but I love this. Ten years in the sleep and I made a ruckus. Just wake up, I'm upside your head. I've been about to pee for the time we got. 
Pay up or play up. I've been sharing knowledge. Funny thing is, I didn't learn it. Music, but I love this. Ten years in, they sleep and I made a ruckus. Music, but I love this. Ten years in, they sleep and I made a ruckus. Music, but I love this. Ten years in, they sleep and I made a Music, but I love this. Ten years in, they sleep and I made a ruckus. Let's wake up, I'm upside your head. I've been about the peace, but it's time we got fit. Pay up or play up. I've been sharing knowledge. Funny thing is, I Music, but I love this. Ten years in, they sleep and I made a ruckus. Let's wake up, I'm upside your head. I've been about the peace, but it's time we got fit. Pay up or play up. I've been sharing knowledge. Funny thing is, I didn't learn it in college. All my free time spent in my dorm room making beats. A&R's didn't believe in me. Now it's straight to voicemail. D and D. The same doubt is reaching out. You better check the feet. D and D. The same doubt is reaching out. You better check the feet. Gotta know, man, I've been coming for it I didn't say nothing, but then you knew it I deep that my heart ever The ones who burn me, man, that's how the cellar It's time to set the mood right, my it is Bet you I never doubt myself again If you lied to me, man, you're not a friend True support has stayed down to begin again The same doubt is reaching out, you better check the feet yeah. You gotta know, man, I've been coming for it I didn't say nothing, but then you knew it I had this deep down in my heart forever. I get a lot of questions about verses, you know, some of you might record verse one and verse two on a different day. Maybe you set your preamp a little bit differently and so the levels are slightly different and you're curious of you know how to match those levels. And it's quite simple. I mean, if you just add something like a, uh, a loudness meter, let's just go to the Logic loudness meter and we could just measure the integrated loudness across verse one. So let's just do that real quick. Okay, so let's say we measured that whole thing and it was at like minus 21. And then we go over to verse 2. It's pretty darn close, but uh, yeah, we could bring that up just a little bit just to match it. That was just a quick essential balance. And a lot of times that's what I'll do. I'll just try to bring things up as quickly as possible and do it very instinctively, very intuitively. You don't want to overthink this balance. And the more you do it, the more uh, things will just kind of come together in a natural way. But after you've done this, of course, you know, you would go back now and start tweaking. You saw me making some adjustments. You know, once I brought the vocals up, I thought, you know, some of the elements in the beat were a little bit too loud. So then we go back and make those. Uh, you know, fine tweaks. But then also after that essential balancing, now we would go back and do things like automation. So if you needed to add some automation, we would go ahead and do this now so that we're not going to have to rely on compression uh, or, you know, kind of making too many adjustments to dynamics that could uh, be detrimental to the mix. Now, I know a lot of you were probably looking at my metering and saying, wow, you're mixing pretty hot, but I didn't mention it and I don't want you all to worry about it at this point point because you could see I have an instrumental VCA and a vocal VCA and if we wanted to create some headroom at the end of the mix I could just disable these things on the master bus and then we could bring down the VCAs so we could bring down the vocal you know let's just say minus six and then we'll bring the uh, the instrumental VCA down minus six as well to create some headroom and that's going to retain all of our sin relationships, you know, all of the uh, the fader moves that we have. And we've got plenty of headroom on the stereo bus. One of the most common balancing mistakes that I hear is a lot of times the kick in the 808 or the sub bass, uh, you all are mixing that extremely hot because you want it to hit hard, but it's at the detriment of the rest of the balance. And ultimately, that is going to limit the loudness that we can get in the mastering stage. Because once we you know, start introducing a limiter, these limiter plugins, the compression plugins, anything that's processing dynamics, you know, it's looking to sort of process something that is balanced correctly so that you can get the maximum loudness out of it. And if you have those elements which are already going to be, you know, pretty much the loudest in terms of metering. You know, once we're feeding that excessively loud uh, bass into the limiter, then, you know, we can't 
pump things up. We can't get the loudness across the entire spectrum that you would expect. I don't think that you can get enough experience, especially when you're starting out, of just observing and also practicing this balancing process because it is so vital. It's so crucial to everything that's going to happen in terms of your mixing process and ultimately what the song is going to sound like even you know once we get to the mastering stage. This is the SSL native template that is now available on my website. So if you want to download this session with audio, you can practice your essential balance if you learn anything in the video, please like, subscribe, and consider sharing. Hit that notification bell for more. We'll talk to you soon.